Hey everyone, it's me, Andrew, and today we're in Memphis, Tennessee. I had no idea I was coming here. Uh, the flight said it was direct, uh, seven hours flight time, and then we touched down in Memphis, and then the flight got canceled, and we all got kicked off the plane, and then there were no standby, and basically I had to spend the night. And I'm just warning all of you, since we're gonna be traveling together so much, that this happens to me a lot. I have really bad airplane mojo. In the last four months, I've got kicked off like four different flights, uh, all canceled, and had to spend the night unexpectedly somewhere. So anyway, here we are. I hope it wasn't too much of a disappointment for you. All of you who are guessing I was going to Korea and China and all, all Peru, all great places. I'd love to visit all of them. I hope I didn't ruin your geography lesson. Sonia with a J. Uh, thanks for your guesses, Ken Gree. Uh, but, you know, we're in Memphis, and my philosophy as a traveler is bloom wherever you land. And so we are in Tennessee. Uh, last night I had some amazing barbecue over at Corky's. And I asked your suggestion of what to do in the few hours I have to kill, and you're all saying do something Elvisy. So that's what we're going to do. I'm a little tired today. Uh, I didn't get much sleep. I'm jet lagged from the West Coast, and um, TSA confiscated my hair gel, so it's a hat day. But I'm going to wear blue in honor of Memphis, the Blues, and Elvis. So let's go. It cost thirty-four dollars to get into Graceland, which I thought was a bit steep, given the fact that it really is just a big suburban home on the outskirts of Memphis. They were mulching when I got there. And I saw them cleaning the swimming pool, which is something you would see in any backyard anywhere in America. The difference is that there were hundreds of people lining up outside, and I imagine thousands in a day, all of them holding their tickets like they were about to win a prize. I got excited just watching the crowds, and when I finally got inside, I realized why everyone comes here. It really is an elaborate home. The furniture, the crystal, the architecture, and some of the zany decor you see. Down in the basement, which is a place that Elvis himself redecorated, was completely tricked out with 1970s technology, stereos, TVs, studded pillows, wraparound couches, and this lightning bolt, which was Elvis's telltale insignia. Admittedly, some of the design was a bit too funky for words. When I finally got up to the jungle room, I stayed a long time. I realized this is where Elvis felt most comfortable. This is where he was at home. It was his home. And if for him that meant putting green carpet on the ceiling, then so be it. I got so excited I waited in line with everybody else to get my picture taken out front. So I made it to Graceland, but I'm not allowed to video, so I'm doing this in secret. It's incredible to be here. Just the outrageous house and inside the shag carpeting and the designs on the wall and the music really is a historic monument to the 60s and 70s. Um, and it's so iconic. It was really cool to see Elvis's grave. And this is like a 10 minute drive from the Memphis airport. So it's a great way to spend an unexpected layover. I also got to see Elvis's private plane. One of them, Elise Marie was pretty cool. Very fancy inside. So I'm standing underneath the wings of the Lisa Marie, which was Elvis's private airplane. He bought it in 1975 and he traveled around it extensively the last two years of his life. And it is so impressive inside. Uh, he bought it for a quarter of a million dollars, I think, and spent another 800 grand fixing it up. It is so tricked out. There's a blue suede bed in the back of the, the plane. It's a big, glossy dining room table, lounges and chairs, and a huge stereo system, and wood paneled walls, and gold sinks in the bathrooms. I wish I traveled as lavishly and as comfortably as Elvis did. I was barely alive when Elvis Presley died. But to go there and to see the amount of devotion that was attributed to this man and to see everything that he had done for America and for music, it touched me. And so when it came time for me to leave and to catch my return flight, I had to leave my mark in Elvis Presley's guest book. And wouldn't you know, not 10 minutes later, at Elvis Presley started following me on Twitter.